All right, turtle nerds, here's the deal. I have like one hour and I have a lot of things to get done. Before we get started with today's video though, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell notification thingy so that way you get up notified when I upload, not uploaded when I notify what? Also, if you wanna go that extra step to support me and the channel, you wanna see some more of my turtle content and all that fun stuff, become an official turtle nerd over at my Patreon. Hit the link right up over here in the top right corner. That'll take you to where you can get behind the scenes access to my content, learn about what turtles I'm getting before I actually get them, learn about what videos I'm gonna be making, have direct input and access to me. I will answer any and all of your turtle questions. Plus you get to join this list of lovely people. So yeah, with all that being said, let's let's get into the work. Let's get going. Let's freaking roll. We will first be cleaning out the little filter media that I have in this 20 gallon baby Diamondback Terrapin tank. Hi, buddies. Because these guys have been extra messy as of recently, and I just finished filming a story about how they kept escaping, so click on up over here if you want to see that whole situation. Next, after that, I need to clean out and redo this setup for my little hatchling pumpkin. He's right down here, that little sick hatchling who I've been nursing back to health. I need to change out his water and also give him a proper filter because I'm getting tired of changing out this water every day. Next up, we have this Quora Beretti right back there who decided to make a mess and throw a bunch of veggies and whatnot from the other day when I fed him and now I need to clean up that little mess and also add some more water into this enclosure. And now finally, in the biggest troublemakers, Otis and Jelly right back there. I just cleaned out this enclosure not two weeks ago, cleaned out all of the moss, all of the sphagnum moss I took out, I rinsed it all down and I added more water and they have just made a filthy, stinking mess. And it really, really, really smells bad. Like really, really, like I, I, couldn't, I couldn't sleep in this room. I had to sleep in my brother's room for the past two nights bad. So we're going to be cleaning that out and I'm not going to be adding as much sphagnum moss because clearly when it breaks down it just makes a mess and we're also going to be adding a filter to that setup as well. So with all that being said, let's get going. So we're going to take out this little thing. This is a whisper filter. It's been working super duper well. It just needs to be cleaned. Let's take this. Okay and now I'm just going to rinse this out in this utility sink. Now that it's clean, it was like brown before, and now it's significantly less brown, we can take this and put it back in the filter. All right. Now we can plug it back in. There we go, all better. And now the tank should clear up and it should catch all that garbage that's down there, and it'll make these guys all happy. Woo, step one, done. Next up, this little tub. You know what, here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna pull out this. Next, pull out the hatchling. Hi, pumpkin. Hey, little pumpkin, still not growing. We will get that figured out. Oh, the rock and plants. And time to get rid of all of that junk. Okay, we have this new little pump. I had an old one that I had for 10 years and unfortunately the wires were exposed, so it's no good anymore. So we're gonna be using this pump. I am running out of time, so I really gotta move. Oh, you know what? I can use this little basking platform instead of that big stupid rock. So now I don't need all this garbage in here. I upgraded their basking dock. So now I'm gonna use this one for down here. Now he's got a proper little setup. Hi buddy, hi buddy, there we go, yay. Now because this setup has gotten so stinky and nasty and there's all kinds of like garbage and stuff in this water, I really don't know why the last time I did this, it lasted for like a month, maybe two, and now it's all dirty and stuff again, only like three weeks later. So I have to take this whole thing outside and clean it all and replace the moss and figure out a better plan because clearly this is not working that well and I need to get like a filter or something in here. Hello Otis, no food for you not right now. So I'm gonna take this whole thing and just bring it all outside except for the turtles and like any decorations that I have in here. So Otis, little Chinese box turtle. He's growing, looking super good. Good one. Oh, this is gonna be heavy. Oh my God. What's wrong? That's really bad. No, it's fine. It smells so good, like rotten eggs. Big stupid bastard. 
I'm too good, so I just spent the last 10 minutes fishing out three tiny guppies that happened to get in here. They were right down in there. There's a couple of them. Now time to dump this thing out. Oh, it's bad. Water's great for plants, bad for fish and turtles. Okay, so I did something a little risky again. I added that stupid sphagnum moss, but it does not smell in this enclosure literally at all, not even a little bit, not an ounce. So I have a feeling that when it gets oversaturated with water is when it really, really, really begins to smell. So I made it, I'm only putting it in the land area and sectioning it off with these bricks that way it doesn't get into the aquatic section. That's the current plan. This is kind of what we have. So now we're gonna add the turtles, see how they like it. The spotted turtle should love it. The box turtle, maybe not too much, but we're gonna see. My <laughs> boogers. Here you go, sorry y'all. After like two days, I'm seeing how these guys are settling in and actually Otis is doing really well in his little land half of the enclosure. He seems to be enjoying it nicely. Oh no, oh, I just remembered something. Oh, I just remembered something, I'm so stupid. Oh, come with me. Guess what I left outside for one night and that's not a big deal because it didn't get below freezing, but last night it did. Oh, they're dead. They're in ice. Uh, it's safe to say this pothos might be done for. Maybe this one can survive, the rest maybe not. Oh, uh, whoops. If I'm lucky, this pothos will come back. Otherwise, I'll just have to buy a new one. Hi, little Otis. So basically, Otis seems to be really enjoying the enclosure. Jelly isn't like at the walls, like trying trying to get out nearly as much as he was before. So I think that he's also having a really good time in this setup. I think that I finally found like a nice happy medium for the two of them to cohabitate well. Do you like your new setup? And Jelly, for some reason, likes to do this all day. He chases his arm. He's a little bit of a weirdo. What's going on there? What are you doing there, buddy? What's up? Hi. So now all my setups are nice, clean, all the animals are happy, and it doesn't smell like trash in here. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next one.